Hello, welcome back to Learning in Omia. Uh, I am very happy to tell you that I have started a very new section uh, which, it is, which is entirely focused upon UGC net GRS. So uh, this section, um, as you all know, uh, from the very title, it's clear that uh, it deals with the uh, net JRF paper one syllabus. So my next video will be dealing with the paper two syllabus of UGC net JRF. So uh, I know that uh, many of you have been preparing for this uh, same examination and many of you have been preparing for the same for years. So uh, I think um, uh, this would be better and it, it would be very much uh, interesting for you and it would be very much beneficial for you to uh, look into the various concepts, various theories and various explanations and interpretations of economics and its various concepts. So having said so, uh, let's go to the video. Um, you know that I have been putting a lot of videos regarding the various concepts and explanations and theories of economics, but I haven't introduced myself. Uh, really sorry for that. And um, uh, when I'm starting a new section on uh, net uh, UJC net JRF, I think uh, it is better for me to introduce myself to you all. So actually, uh, right now I'm working as uh, head in charge of the Department of Economics in one of the reputed colleges. Uh, which come under the University of Kerala. It is actually an aided college and my qualification is PhD in economics and uh, coming to the additional qualification, I am the first rank holder in economics in both BA as well as MA levels and also I have qualified uh, net, UGC net examination twice and also I have qualified JRF uh, in economics twice. So having said so, let's uh, go to the uh, intro uh, let's go to the intro with respect to the paper one. Okay, so um, before starting the intro of paper one, I think it would be uh, very much beneficial for to you to give you uh, to uh, to have an understand understanding of the overall net UGC examination pattern of 2021. So uh, I think. Uh, uh, first of all, you should understand what is UGC net examination, what is a uh, JR, UGC JRF examination and all how, how the pattern of questions are covered, uh, what is the pattern of questions and how, uh, what is the duration of examinations and all. So uh, for that, uh, this slide deals with the overview of the UGC net examination of 2021. First of all, this examination comprises of two papers, paper one and paper two. And all the questions dealing uh, with respect to this examinations are multiple choice questions. You don't have any descriptive kind of questions. All the questions are multiple choice questions. And here the candidate uh, need to complete, uh, all the candidates need to complete both the papers in a single duration of three hours. So the duration of the examination is three hours. And in, in a single structure of three hours, you are supposed to complete both paper one and paper two. Okay, and the total number of questions is 50 uh, for paper 1 and 100 for paper 2. In total, you have 150 questions and the total marks for first paper is 100 and for second paper is 200. So in total, you have uh, the examination is of 300 marks. Okay, now uh, UJC uh, net uh, paper 1 consists of general paper on teaching and research chapter 2 and this is considered to be one of the common it is the common and mandatory paper for all the candidates whether you belong to the arena of economics or whether you belong to the arena of some other discipline in uh, social science you have to compulsorily attend this particular paper and after completing paper 1 you will be given paper 2 and this is based on your subject, the subject you have selected for your masters. Okay. And all the questions in paper two will be compulsory in the sense that you, you can attend all the questions and you don't have any negative mark here, uh, but uh, you can attend all the questions. Okay. So with that, uh, let's understand the syllabus uh, which are to be covered in paper one. 
you have teaching aptitude then you have research aptitude you have comprehension you have communication you have mathematical reasoning and aptitude then you have logical reasoning then you are then you have data interpretation then there is information and communication technology then you have to deal with a section uh, which uh, which discusses people development and environment and last you have higher education system as one of your sections so uh, having said so let's understand all these sections in detail so coming to the teaching aptitude uh, part of paper one we can see that under teaching you have to understand the concept objectives and levels of teaching you have to understand memory understanding and reflective kinds of uh, teaching and all then you have you can uh, you can uh, understand the characteristics and basic requirements in teaching and this is very important and also you have to understand learners characteristics here it means the characteristics of adolescent and adult learners uh, in the arena of academic social and em emotional and cognitive levels and here also you have to understand the individual differences within each of these levels then you have to uh, cover factors affecting teaching uh, which is related to teacher learner uh, support material instructional facilities learning in environment and institution in which you are study i mean institution in which a student is studying or a teacher is teaching now then you have to understand the methods of teaching in institutions of higher learning uh, which will cover the teacher centered versus learner centered methods offline versus online methods uh, which uh, some examples are he given here like swayam swayam prepa moocs uh, etc then you have to understand the teaching support system which uh, includes the traditional modern and ict based kind of teaching support systems then you have to understand the evaluation systems uh, which include the elements and types of evaluation evaluation which is choice based credit based system in higher education and also computer based testing and also you have to understand the innovations in evaluation systems and then uh, under research aptitude you have to understand the meaning types and characteristics positivism and post positive um, positivistic approach to research then methods of research which will include experimental descriptive historical quantitative and qualitative methods then some steps of research that is um, uh, which are the steps you have to undergo through in order to go for a research or in order to complete a research and this will cover thesis and article writing uh, its format its styles its referencing uh, then applications of ict in research research ethics etc under section 3 you have comprehension that is you will be given a passage and you have to go through that passage then the passage should be covered and questions will be asked from the passage and you have to answer the you will be given four options and you have to pick the right answer from the options then you have communication and here you have to understand the meaning types and characteristics of communication you have to understand the effective communication when it comes to verbal and non verbal intercultural and group based communication and classroom based communication and also you should cover barriers to effective communication and also the role of mass media and society should be covered now uh, going to the mathematical reasoning and aptitude you have types of reasoning number series letter series cause and relationship mathematical aptitude which will cover fraction time and distance ratio proportion percentage profit and loss interest and discounting averages etc then you have logical reasoning here you have to understand the structure of arguments here uh, you have to have a better or clear cut understanding of the different types of argument forms or different argument forms structure of categorical compositions mood and figure formal and informal fallacies usages of language connotations and denotations of different terms classical square of opposition then you have to understand evaluating you have to you should be able to distinguish between deductive and inductive types of reasoning and also there um, there are various types of analogies you can uh, you can have a look at the same as well then uh, venn diagram like simple multiple uh, types of venn diagram and its use for establishing validity of arguments can also be studied then indian logic that is mainly with that, with respect to means of knowledge and uh, some pramanas uh, which will cover perception inference 
comparisons, verbal testimony, implications, non-apprehension, non etc. Then also a structure and kinds of uh, anumana, that is inference, uh, invariable relation, fallacies of inference, all should be covered. Now coming to data interpretation, you have to go through sources, acquisition and classification of data, quantitative and qualitative kinds of data, graphical representation, which will cover bar chart, histogram, spy chart, table chart and line chart, mapping of data, data interpretation, data and governance. Then you have information and communication technology, where you have to understand the general abbreviations and testimony and uh, basis of internet, intranet, email, audio and video conferencing. Digital initiatives in higher education should be covered and also you have to understand ICT and governance. That means the role of ICT in governance. Now, uh, you have to have a clear cut understanding of the people, development and environment, how these three concepts are related. So, here one of the important topics to be covered is sustainable development goals. And also equally important is millennium development. Uh, you have to understand the human environment interaction, how human is related to environment and how environment is related to human. For that, you have to understand the anthropogenic activities and their impacts on the environment. Uh, coming to the environment issues, you, you should understand the local, regional and global kinds of uh, environment issues like air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution, waste management, climatic change, socio-economic, political dimensions of all these things, etc. And also you can study the impacts of pollutants on human health. You will be having various kinds of pollutants polluting the environment. So you should uh, understand what are the different effects of all these kinds of each kind of pollutant on human health. Then you should be able to understand different kinds of natural and energy resources like solar energy, wind energy, soil, hydropower energy, geothermal energy, biomass, nuclear and forest. Then you should understand natural hazards of different kinds, natural disasters of different kinds and its mitigation strategies. Various environment protection acts can also be studied, national action plan on climatic change, international agreements, efforts like Montreal Protocol, Rio Sapin, Convention of Biodiversity, Kyoto Protocol, Paris Agreement, International Solar Alliance, etc. should also be covered. Under higher education system, you should have an understanding of the institutions of higher learning and education in nation in India and evolution of higher learning and research in post-independence India. Also, oriental, conventional and non-conventional learning programs in India should be covered. Also, professional, technical and skill-based education, value education, environmental education, uh, policies, governance and administration should be covered. Uh, so, coming to the books that you can use in order to uh, clear or in order to crack the first paper, uh, I would suggest Truman's UGC net set uh, general paper one and also you can use uh, teaching and research aptitude by Arihant experts. Also, you can use Upakas UGC net GRF set teaching and research aptitude. So, all these three books are widely used in order to uh, clear, crack paper one. So, if you wish to clear paper one, you can use uh, any of these books or it is better you practice all the three books because uh, you will be having a better understanding of all the questions uh, which are repeated, the questions uh, which are um, uh, familiar uh, to uh, almost all the uh, all the candidates or, and the questions uh, which are difficult to answer, the questions which are mostly covered, etc. So you will be get a you will be getting a very better idea, a clear cut idea about the questions or the model of questions to be asked. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe this channel for more videos. And I am really happy to inform you that I have started a Telegram group and also a Telegram channel in order to help you. So if you have any doubts, you 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 are free to post your doubts there. And also, I request you to there. Several members have joined the channel and also the group. And if you, if you are very much uh, concerned about uh, discussing among yourself, you can discuss among yourself because there are many members. Uh, it is better for you to discuss and um, discuss and clear all your doubts because the person who is clearing your doubt will be learning and also the person who who is asking the doubt will be learning and i am also very happy to help you so if you have any doubt and if uh, you can post it there and uh, if you want me to cover any of the topics in specific you can uh, give uh, you can give a mentioning there i'll be picking up your uh, 
concern and i'll be answering your concern uh, by posting a video uh, by helping you out in the way i can so uh, with that i would like to thank you for watching this video thank you very much